they did actually they actually definitely did um they remove indeedy as resurrection and togekiss as resurrection but you still got amungus as a resurrection so i think and if even if amungus was banned tangla is possible resurrection as well so we're not running low on resurrection pokemon yeah braviary like braviary sparked in usage in like last few weeks but it wasn't enough to give it a ban right because it's just like three weeks of Braviaries, which are not full two months of Sinrays just completely dominating the meta game. So, Braviar is probably going to be the replacement for, Togi for Togekiss on a lot of teams. Unfortunately, I mean, let me pick the team again. I think this is pretty simple. Repair it could be good to stop uh, the Colossal thanks to Focus Sash, and we're going to have like. I think we should have Incinerate as the last one. Um, yeah, the problem with Braviari though is that the f they banned Incineroar, right? And Gyarados. So Braviari will not be as useful as... Like, it's not going to be as... Even though a lot of its competition got banned, I don't think it's going to be as useful. Thanks to Braviari pretty much leeching off the spam of Incineroars that are everywhere. Okay, oh boy. Okay, so for those who didn't recognize this combination, this is coaching plus Assault West Snorlax, and Assault West Snorlax is notoriously invincible unless you have Incineroar on the team. Basically, the only check to this is pretty much spamming Parting Shot and Intimidates all the way to lower the attacking power of Snorlax. If you do not have this Incineroar, this Snorlax is a lot of trouble. Yes, indeed he is banned as well. Ragabolt got banned, Sinrace got banned, Braviari is probably going to be the most popular one. Also pretty curious why opponent didn't go for Dynamax here. Titar got banned as well. I don't think Excadrill got banned, so and Hippowdon got banned, but Giglet didn't get banned, so yeah, Rotom is gonna be probably back into the usage because of the really being banned, right? It's only only makes sense this one. Rotom really got hampered by the really boom. And Rotom Heat wasn't like good because like Turn and Turtle was in the meta game, so like again, Rotom Heat and Rotom Wash got buffs because two most common Pokemon got banned that normally can't rank them. Also, this Confusion stuff is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for, like, I'm gonna get a duet KO here, so G-Max might this in case opponent switches out. Cordoba and I, d -Rang are gonna be good, and Drelodon is still in the meta game. And, like, Drelodon archetype did not get hampered at all, but, like, anything. So, like, the Grimmsnarl, Arcanine, Drolodon team still will be able to work pretty nicely. This probably might be a KO. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately. Yeah, this indeed is max speed, max special attack, so it got initially bad defense. But I think Durand could be with the Salt Vest. You check the Porygon's attack as well. Like, you just one shot Clefairy with max steel spike. But if you got your own Clefairy, you can like protect, and it's gonna be like protect fast pretty much, but you just protect with Clefairy upon also protect with Clefairy. But the like from the protect words on Clefairies, the Dread is gonna come out on top because it can go from Max Looter by to like lower the special attack even more off Porygon's that, so I think the Dread again comes out comes out on top here. Dread is gonna be very scary. As Sinrise was one of its best checks, just kind of got banned. And Togekiss, believe it or not, was not a bad check either, if you got Intimidate as well. You take the one, Max Steel Spike, then you go for Max Air Stream, and then you outspeed next turn and go for Max Fla. So, it was not a bad check, but we're gonna see how, to, how Duran will... Like, Duran is gonna be very scary. It 
It didn't go to coverage for like Rutom forums as well. I don't think Rutom may actually Rutom he doesn't get one shot by Max Rogue Fall if it Dynamaxes as well. Um Hitting yourself would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Um, yeah, Arcanado could be a good check to Duran as well if it Dynamaxes. Or if it gets like some help and goes for like Max Fly or Heat Wave, it could be a pretty good check as well. Um, Hippowdon got banned because it got a high usage in singles. Uh, yeah, singles is... Like, Hippowdon in singles is just so good like it got slack off it got very high defense so it's like amazing physical war dragazolt no that's dragwish but i actually have no clue what to do here i'm probably going to go for rock record and just try to want your dragwish here will it be able to want your dragwish we'll see hopefully opening goes into repair here but he does not Unfortunately, we're living at least one hit from Primarina, though. Let's see that one shot. I'm jolly, unfortunately. So, the. Yeah, the adamant. Not, not being adamant is noticeable here. And we do not have fake out on the door. This is best of one choice band set, so. That rack which is just gonna destroy me here. Yo, Whimsicott, yeah, Whimsicott got banned as well. And I think, like, that will, like, Whimsicott being banned is also just, like, that will shuffle the metagame a lot. But, unfortunately, you got Talonflame as a alternative. It's not as good alternative, though, but Talonflame will do. Talonflame will be probably good enough as a replacement. Yeah, that's good enough. That's going into Instinor, that's one shot. Not even close. Yeah. We needed the one shot with Rock Wrecker. Dragovish got like. Yo, yo, yeah, Dragovish was not banned. And Dragovish, like, will probably make some splash as well. You got a Mingus, though. But yeah, Dracovish is not gonna be as easily stopped by Arcanine, thanks to not Arcanine not having fake out, right? So Yeah, Angkor Whimsicott was really good in like I really liked Angkor and Whimsicott in like Gen 6. Where it could Angkor the fake out from Kangaskhan. Which I felt like it was almost in always should have been run on Whimsicott in Gen 6. But like but dick gimmicks like like the Z moves, the Mag Dynamax Pokemon, it just kind of ignores the Ancord, Anc which makes it a bit less useful. But I think it sh should still be pretty good surprise factor. Handle team suggestion. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna like. Okay, so I see the suggestion. I'm gonna try to. Uh. Best in 2000, thanks for the follow, it means a lot. Okay, I'm a bit in a pickly situation here, no? So I know that these chat scrolls, right? So I'm gonna copy the code into Google here, so I'm gonna be able to copy it later. And I'm gonna use this next panel, right? I'm gonna use this code in next panel. Yeah, like Whimsicott's with Fake Tier, like Fake Tier's and Whimsicott won't be able to be replicated by Talonflame. Talonflame doesn't even get like Super Fang or any alternative to that whatsoever. So it's gonna be again kind of bad for some teams that relied on Fake Tier sweeps. But again, Togekiss has the best, best Fake Tier sweeper got snapped, so... Um, it's, not, it's not gonna be like it's completely missing, we're missing out on something. A drill don is good alternative to Togekiss. And it could be a good counteraction to Porygon's out as well. Like if 
if you're going to get Arcanine on the team, and you get go for Snarl, turn one, he, he, and he adds speed Pergon on that. The drill known is pretty much going to be invincible for the rest of this game against the Pergon on that. Especially if you run Assault West. And if you get the Steel Spike boosts, the Urshifu won't be that threatening either. Yeah, Lapras is usable by Talonflame, though. I tested some Talonflame teams as well. With Lapras, it wasn't entirely bad, but... I can imagine the fact that it's missing there could... Could lead to some awkward situation for Lapras. Um... Let me try to... Yeah, let's go for Gmax Mine. Like you see here, the Talonflame Lapras is already used. It's just putting some work. Yeah, priority, it's only priority talent, right? The guinea pig is hungry again, so while we Dynamax here, I'm gonna probably switch the camera here. I give him my camera. More Dynamax action happening, so I'm not switching camera yet. Dual wing bait. What are you doing? Did I put a misclick? It had to be a misclick from Talon, from Talwind. Wow, okay. That happens. Yeah. Cotoning overall, I think, brings out... Brings out another point of discussion. Like, Twaki is not that horrible. Twaki misses out on some important knockouts, but Twaki itself, for example, isn't that bad. Oh, yeah, he... <laughs> I keep forgetting. I put an expected Trick Room, right? Because I'm normally a Trick Room team, but this, uh, this team has no Trick Room whatsoever. Togetic could be good redirection as well, but it lacks the... I feel Togetic is just... is more useful overall. It's a possible Dynamax user as well. Togetic doesn't have the option of Dynamaxing. Yeah, they didn't ban the full uh, full evolution lines. For example, Twaki, I feel definitely Twaki has potential to work out. Uh, potential of just being usable. Spanning force. Is that Focus Sash Venusaur? It's not a Focus Sash Venusaur. So there was like no possible other switch in. That's also very interesting. Opponent gets the attack off, but the. Indeed, he should be able to finish it off next turn as well. Yeah, this team got no trick room. <laughs> it's supposed to be a troll team, right? So. Like, by the way, I tried... I tried running when I was, like, on laddering on the second card. I tried laddering with, like, sun and sand. But I like lost four out of five battles with it, and I then I tried lettering with this, and I got the master ball rank like in like no time whatsoever. Thanks to like best of one being such a viable archetype on the online ladder. It's just such a fun team. Yeah, this choice third goal is choice guard, for example. So we're for example out speeding really beam. Before it's getting up for Wood Hammer. Of course, the Grassy Blood is gonna happen before it, but. Yeah, we're. Very choice scarf. Dimit choice scarf, so we outspeed Rilla Beam, for example. And we outspeed stuff like Lapras as well. So even if the Expanding Force didn't finish, finish off the opponent, I would be able to just get a knockout. Before it could go for Max Gazier. And Lapras is always smoothest because it needs the knockouts on Dragapult. And Cinerize. With Timid, it doesn't get the knockouts with Life Fort. Actually, let me check the team. 
Oh, that's interesting. Let me see the lappers, though. But I got the Talman, but he really thought that the... That it would be useless to go for the Talman here on that situation. But it wasn't useless at all. That's interesting speed, because it does not have speed Dragapult. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But at least it one shot Dragapult with Demon Dust. Okay. Okay, so let's continue battling. Yeah, it's all... It's, I, I also like forget about it a lot, a lot of time as well. That opponent doesn't know about my team tags. And I just play like opponent knows about them. But like, in best of one, they just don't know what's coming. They just have no idea what's coming up. Uh, again, this could be a team I could scam with the Hatterene and Diddy team combination as well. Although... I think Braviari plus Repairer is gonna do a bit of a better job here. Thanks to Braviari having positive matchup against most of the team, except for like Sunrise. And Timonet is gonna be useful and Indeed is pretty good. Yeah, the Urshifu didn't get banned, which I'm surprised by. Thanks to... Um... Now let me explain, I watched some OU matches last night because I was bored. And Rushif is really powerful in singles. If it gets bulk up off, it's just so scary. It's capable of just blowing through teams like no other Pokemon. Which makes me a little bit confused why it didn't get so much usage in the single sin game. Perhaps because 3 versus 3 is just so different. But it wasn't in top 10 of either of these formats, so... Yeah, that's a bit confusing, no? like, really? Maybe because Rushifu is two different Pokemon? I'm not sure either. Well, like they didn't get combined or something? I don't know. But I'm really surprised by Rushifu not being the top 10 in singles or doubles. Well, that is crazy, but I banned, like, a bunch of new Pokemon as well. Like, not exact. Actually, they didn't introduce many new Pokemon in Isle of Armor, but I brought back a lot of them. Hmm. I'm going for just Max Airstream here on the Rock Slide. If we manage to get two Max Airstreams off, we are going to be at spinning Sunrise with the Repair here, and one shutting it with Rock Wrecker. Yeah, it would be crazy of them, but at the same time... I think he just didn't get the usage. Magnezone was banned from singles. I'm not sure, like, sturdy ability in singles is probably pretty good. Or Magnet Pull. Yeah, Magnet Pull is more common in singles. You just trap these Skarmoris and such, and just dispatch them with proper coverage move. DigLabBGC37, thanks for the fun, it means a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I could have went for a very good move here. Uh, of Max 13 plus Rock Wrecker, and I would have been able to one-shot the Toyukis and the Dynamax with it. But I still think I'm fine next turn as well. Should be outspinning the... What if Pokemon here? Yes, I am able to do that. Flinched and couldn't move. That means I'm gonna preserve my Focus Sash. And it's actually very important. I think Porygon Z is going to be... I mean, I think Duran is gonna be a bit more crazy than the Porygon Z. There are gonna be like two most common Dynamaxes, Duran and Porygon Z. And luckily Duran is able to check the Porygon's that pretty easily, but that's only luckily because Dread might be even more ridiculous to stop than Porygon's that. It just has more speed and such. Yeah, I think the... I think some of these, like, dual screen teams are gonna be, like, completely fine as well. I think Honorable Mention would be dual screen Grim Cell team with Arcanine Lead, which is, like, Spam Snarls and Will-O-Wisps. And then has the team uh, like tries to stall out the Dynamax turns. 
and then they have powerful dynamax run in the back for most of the time the team had team had drolodon turnator and gyarados as backup sweepers but uh, gyarados is gonna get snapped in this season and that's that was like for most of these dual screens grimstall teams the per gyarados was literally the most important and efficient sweeper which is not gonna be there because singles banned the gyarados Gyarados rigs top 10 usage in singles. Um, yeah, Arcanine is going to be one of the most important Pokemon to stop the Porygon side as well, thanks to its faster snarls. And with paired, if paired with like. Paired with. Drilled on it, they can easily stall out the Dynamax runs easily. Snarl plus Assault plus Drilled on is going to be very easy to counteract the. It's going to be very easy to counter Burgons out with that. Also, we outspeed the. Yeah, the battle is cancelled. Okay, so Max Speed Repetitor are really putting in work here. Not allowing Togekiss to get any additional speed boosts. Oh, remember the rental. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for reminding me that. Oh boy, I would have forgot again. Thank you. Uh, so let's try Randall teams. You managed to... So for those we just tuned in. Uh, uh, Glasky TV. Uh, managed to get channel point threshold for... Uh, for Randall team. So I'm going to play his team. Okay, so I actually typed out the code here as well on a Google search, so I did not forget about it. Don't forget about it. And we'll be able to resume our discussion about Series 6 in a second. Okay, yeah, so I, as I've said before, I would more, more than would like to see your advice about a team. So, what's the deal? I'm probably going to be playing this until we win. At least one time. I just want to see this team working out. Like, the strategy with Fling Petaya barely looks, uh, looks a lot of, like, a lot of fun. But it doesn't look like it's going to work out much of a time. So, I at least want to give at least one sweep of Espeon up. So, everyone on this stream is going to be satisfied. Um... Yeah, I will, I will get my rating back in no time. This best of one team seems to win like four out of five battles. So I'm gonna get the gonna get the rating back in no time. Battle ready symbol. Oh yeah, Gengar is not battle ready. Um oops. Don't worry, I will so I would advise you to actually get the Gengar being battle ready, and yeah, just just submit the code after the next battle. I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna be able to just play it after then. So let's check back with this thing. Let's have some more fun. Yeah, BRB. Trainer has been found. Japanese character and square. Okay. Mr. Square, good luck and have fun. Magnezone is gonna be banned. Oh my goodness, opponent has his whole team banned in Series 6. <laughs> Poor Magnezone. It definitely doesn't deserve this trait of being banned, but I guess it's... <laughs> I guess it's fine. Poor Magazine, though. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I feel Braviard plus Repairer is going to again do the most job here. Most of the opponent's team is weak to this combination. 
Except for like Sunrise, but Sunrise has like no good counters in his metagame anyways, unless, unless it's like Dracovich with Choice Scarf. So... I'm gonna choose to ignore the Sunrise on the lead. We're gonna be probably double dynamaxing turn one, so... I'm probably gonna turn on the... I'm gonna turn on the... Get a big camera while we double down on Max turn one. Is he can yeah, as you can see here, for example, probably already is able to leech off the incinerator usage here a lot, which will hamper its usability in series six, I feel. Although Braviard will be able to punish the max strikes from Paragon Zen, but unfortunately helping get plus max strike from Paragon are just one shots Braviar and Paragon Z is naturally faster as well, so. Uh, it's gonna be a bit more difficult, I feel, to pull something like that off. Uh, like, pull off Braviari in Series 6 as well. I'd be 4 double Dynamax, so let me just switch to Kinepic Camera here. I'm gonna give him some treat. And there you go! Dynamax from the opponent, that probably could mean that this is Focus Ash Titor. It is Focus Ash Titor, as previously expected. Fortunately, I don't think opponent will be able to capitalize on this that much. Rock Slide won't do much damage, thanks to Dynamax being, well, Dynamax. Completely balanced mechanic, by the way. Yeah, opponent should have definitely done a max the detour here. It's um, I'm just gonna get plus two attack, plus one speed on Braviar in next turn, and I don't think opponent will be able to punish that. Yeah, opponent might not expect repair to outspeed the Eternator here, but I'm truly max speed repair here, so I'm definitely outspeeding Tito here. I have no clue actually. Maybe, like, I could understand opponent not wanting to Dynamax their frail Focus Sash Pokemon. It's gonna get burned down the Focus Sash rather easily with Max Knuckle. But I think this situation just you needed to Dynamax the turn in order to, in order to stop the Braviari sweep. Just kind of inevitable now. But yeah, Magnezone is not going to do much here. I got Lightning Rod on this repair here as well. Okay, so opponent got the Real Beam at least. No, I'm not sure if we... Okay, so I'm thinking of... Actually, it's SC this one. Um, yeah, I want to probably preserve Repair here for later in the game. To stop the Magna Zone. As we're gonna be outspinning it anyways, and I'm gonna switch to Indeed to disrupt the train. I could do it the other way around, but I just want to get rid of the Real Beam as soon as possible. Grassy Glide is... Okay, Dynamax Magnism. Please Dynamax Magnism. Magnism is definitely the Pokemon that could turn tables on this game. Thanks to Max Steel Spikes raising the defense, and then like... Opponent will be able to body press me out as an alternative to deal with the Incineroar I got in the back. But fortunately, we should be able to... Should definitely be able to just... Add speed. And KO the Magnus with the hardest part plus plus the max I mean flat blitz from Incineroar. We are max speed jolly choice band Incineroar, so we're definitely not speeding that. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but just wanted to make it clear for everyone. That was a critical hit, wasn't it? Or is Magnus really that powerful? Did he 173 damage to Bravi Ori? With no boost whatsoever from Life Orb. Yeah, it's actually pretty admirable. Anyways, anyhow, we're switching out to switching into repair here. Yeah, it could be analytic as well. I mean, it would actually make sense with Grassy Seed. 
thing. Like, I still prefer Sturdy in every single case, but Analytic would make a lot of sense here. Got Mystical Fire as well. So we're going to be lowering the power level. And we got Sand actually as well. So we might be actually taking this Steel Spike. If he did not outspeed. But we're outspeeding. Yeah, the Magnus on his against here is going to be ridiculously bulky. If it gets like one, one defense boost. That reminds me of one time I said that Excadrill cannot one-shot Magnus on. You can see here that the Iris Power probably did like 45%. If there would be no defense boost, it would do 90%. So, yeah, Magnus on can get ridiculously bulky if it gets defense boost. If I could somehow manage the uh, speed and stunner here and watch on the Indeedee, opponent could go for body press next turn to just simply one shot the hit center. But I'm just so speedy, it doesn't matter. So yeah, cool, another one. 